Honorable Srimati Justice Anjuli Palo, Judge of the High Court of Madhya Pradesh, Shri Ram Kumar Chaube, Director of the Manipur State, uh, Madhya Pradesh State Judicial Academy, Shri Dharminder Singh Rathor, Member Secretary, Madhya Pradesh State Legal Services Authority, Jabalpur, Judges, Judicial Officers, Secretaries of the District Legal Services Authorities, Officers and Staff of the Madhya Pradesh State Legal Service Authority, as well as of the State Judicial Academy, District Legal Aid Officers of MPSLSA and DLSAs, and Officers from the various Government Departments, and most importantly, the panel lawyers, the paralegal volunteers, the young law students, and other dignitaries. At the very outset, let me convey the Ram Naomi greetings and the blessings of the Divine Lord to all of you for the good health, peace and prosperity for everyone. I have not come with a prepared speech and that is because I thought that uh, I would pick up some of the threads of thoughts which are shared from the dais so that I can take it and converge it with the government uh, programs that we implement from the Department of Justice to bring justice to the doorstep of the people. As was being told by Professor Ram Kumar Chaube that our constitution, the preamble itself says that justice has to inform each and every aspect of our life. And this is adumbrated in the directive principles also in Article 39A. And it is therefore incumbent upon us. And it is when I say it is incumbent upon us, it is not only incumbent upon the judiciary or the executive or the legislature, it is even incumbent upon the common citizens also to work together to see that justice delivery system reaches the last person of the society. The formal brick and mortar architecture of the courts is of course there to provide justice in a very formal system. But our recent experience with COVID pandemic has taught that people need legal counsel, people need legal aid, people need legal advice and most of it is at a pre-litigation stage. And if we are able to successfully provide that, one of the big problems that we are facing today in terms of pendency of cases and the overburdening of courts, that I think can come to an end, provided this pre-litigation advice, this kind of counseling that we can provide, this is provided in a very, very effective manner. In the Department of Justice, uh, we uh, have been implementing the tele-law scheme. This started in 2017. Uh, it, 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 we, it was a very, very modest beginning that was made. We had initially covered only 10 states. And now we have covered 34 states and UTs and we have touched 633 districts and we have already covered more than 50,000 gram panchayats. And let me also uh, uh, say with a lot of uh, satisfaction that till about 2019, the total number of beneficiaries whom we had assisted through the tele-law scheme, it was about 1,80,000 people and today we have crossed within one and a half years time uh, 11 lakh beneficiaries so which is more than 369 percent year-on-year growth 
and for this uh, i i i uh, feel very very obliged towards our paralegal volunteers towards our village level entrepreneurs who have been working in the common service centers and it is at the common service center that when the villager is going with his problem he is provided a particular time with a panel lawyer by the paralegal volunteer and then he is connected to the panel lawyer with the help of video conferencing or teleconferencing and in this we have got a lot of help from nalsa salsa and the dlss during the time of the covid there were people who were not aware of what their entitlements are and it is the tele law scheme which helped them in a very very remarkable manner of fighting for their entitlements which they are were, are entitled to and for some reason they were being denied and deprived and if we we try to categorize also the kind of uh, pre litigation advice which is provided uh, under the tele law you know they are very elementary things things like domestic violence you know a a a, a lady who's suffering from domestic abuse is not able to go to a formal system like a court of law or to a police station so that you know a lot of people come to know of it and they are going to the common service centers and then discussing it with the paralegal volunteers and the panel lawyers and i am very happy that the panel lawyers have not been advising them that you go to the court of law they have been doing counseling also to them they have tried to bring them together to iron out the issues and to see that the family runs a, a, without any further disruptions so then there were issues that we saw that people have issues about the mutation of land the uh, uh, at times even when the property is getting divided in the house they don't know how to get the registration done at times you know these middlemen and intermediaries come and then they create uh, unnecessary they act like parasites it is these paralegal volunteers and the panel lawyers who've done a human service by giving the right information to the people who actually need it so that is why what i feel is that it is this informal system which has to play a very very big role so that we achieve what is envisioned in our constitution in terms of justice being available to all and i must say here that uh, nalsa has been doing a phenomenally good role uh, in fact i had Uh, uh the uh, opportunity of uh, interacting with uh, uh justice uh, uh, lalit honorable judge of the supreme court uh, who's uh, uh, heading the nalsa and uh, some of the brilliant ideas which are otherwise such simple ideas he wanted that how do we spread the word to the first time offenders uh, that there is something called uh, paralegal volunteers and panel lawyers which the 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 benefit of which can be taken by the first time offender or anyone and that is why he said that can we get banners and posters put up in each and every post office of the country because post offices have the maximum reach even in the remotest part of the country and then the we had a meeting and the secretary department of post most willingly said that yes i am willing to provide my premises for this purpose now it's such a simple idea but it has got such a far reaching impact similarly even with the police stations also it was decided that we put a banner where we put the names of all the panel lawyers of the paralegal volunteers their telephone numbers and a helpline if that is provided so that anyone who goes to the police station knows that there is an institution which can provide this benefit to us half of the problem in the country is 
the lack of flow of information in fact we in the government also realize that we are implementing so many programs uh, but many a times the people for whom the program is designed they are not even aware of the of the program and there i would exhort uh, dlsas and the slsas because you have a tremendous outreach amongst the people and if you can spread this word of how justice delivery can also be available even through the informal mechanism that would be a great uh, service that you will render and i am very happy that we have also uh, uh, young lawyers and the law students in fact we have also from the department of justice uh, in fact got in touch with uh, the law universities uh, and we've started this naibandhu program uh, so that we can give impetus to pro bono lawyering and i'm very happy to say that the response again has been very very good because we started with literally um, absolutely an insignificant negligible numbers but that has now gone up in fact uh, i am very happy uh, madam that even from madhya pradesh high court we have got uh, the names of 42 lawyers who have agreed to uh, join uh, as pro bono lawyers and from uh, overall madhya pradesh we have got from the bar council uh, 352 and similarly what we are most happy is that we have got the national law schools and the other law colleges in fact they have all sort of uh, come forward and said that we are willing to join you all and the young students have said that we will act as assistants to the panel lawyers help them in the drafting because that also helps them in building their own professional acumen at the end of the day i would also like to say that we in the government uh, have been uh, you know following this ideal of seeing that how we can reach out to the people and during this uh, 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 in fact uh, our honorable prime minister has always been talking of uh, sabka saath sabka vishwas sabka vikas and uh, we have in fact in one of his addresses he had also mentioned about sabka nyay and when we are working towards atmanirbhar bharat when we are working towards you know how to reduce compliance burden even a simple thing like when it was said that you know getting the certificates attested by a gazetted officer was a problem for the common man who did not have a reach to the people and there were many people who would say that Uh, you know uh, my signature has a cost which is so unfortunate because to attest you are supposed to attest and help the people but there also at times people uh, behave in a manner which is most arbitrary and uh, which is just uncalled for and it is this simple thing like introduction of self certification has been such a big uh, paradigm change we are also celebrating the azadi ka amrit mahotsav with the 75th anniversary around and nalsa uh, was uh, and the department of justice was given the 8th to uh, to 14th november as the period during which uh, we carry out our campaign and we are very happy that uh, uh, honorable justice lalit said why from 8 to Uh, 14 November. We should start from 2nd of October, which is the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi ji. And on the 17th of September, there was a big uh, campaign which was carried out by by uh, Nalsa all across the country, and and uh, it, it, they did phenomenally good work. So my, uh, as I conclude, uh, I would once again uh, uh, feel very happy uh, if. i can even get your thoughts your views your suggestions even on my email uh, which is uh, available it is uh, secretary hyphen just at gov dot in please feel free to give us your suggestions your views on how we can converge and improve the justice delivery system 
we have the formal structure but even through the informal mechanisms how we can bring justice to the doorstep of the people i was in fact very happy when i was um, uh, coming along and the vehicle said justice at the doorstep so i hope we uh, from from the slogan we translate it into action and we are able to achieve this objective and the mandate of the constitution thank you all very much jai hind